guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am super excited but a tad bit sad and I will tell you why in a little bit. But we are unboxing my Ipsy Glam Bag Eggs. Yes, this is Ipsy's biggest subscription box. This does not come monthly if you don't know about Ipsy. The Xbox is their quarterly box. It comes every February, May, August, and November. It is $55, so it is up there in price, but the value is normally, from what I have seen, close to $500 dollars guys that is absolutely amazing and you do get eight full-size products five of which they choose for you based on your profile and the other three they allow you to select so i said i was sad a little bit and i was because i wasn't wowed by the selections i'm going to tell you why in a little bit but there's two things i really wanted and Honestly, for the price of the box, I could have went out and bought the products, but I did get the other six products, and they're not bad. I am happy with some of the other ones. Normally, I get a little happier when I see them as well, so we are going to go through them, uh, definitely, so we can see what we got. I am super duper excited to get through this to show you guys. So this is what it looks like, the box. It is purple. I do hate that they put the sticker right on the front, like, can they put that on the back? Can't even take a good thumbnail with this, but it's okay. We are here for the products so we're gonna get right into it guys I don't want to waste any time so once you open it up this is what it looks like and it says glam bag X all inside and it does have the foam cushion so that is nice and normally it has like a newspaper type thing and I thought this was really cute I love how they do that it says ipsy glam bag X and it was curated by Addison Ray and this is issue number five guys and you can see it right there so what that means I've noticed that's the fifth box that they've had the glam bag X I have gotten every single one of them. That's why I'm a little sad because, guys, I have finally made a decision. Well, I was going to cancel. Let me not say. I actually paused it until June. So the next box comes out in May. Actually, I think I paused it until May. I think I paused it for three months because I'm going to try to get the Xbox again. Honestly, the only box I want is this box here. But unfortunately, they don't let you do that. You have to have one of the other subscriptions to upgrade. You can choose either or. Um, but you do have to have either the regular bag. And the regular bag, just so you know, it is $13. And the Ipsy Plus is $28. And then on the months that this box comes out, it will upgrade it. If you decide to upgrade to the Xbox when they have those months. So I definitely think it's worth it. Um, again, not so wide on this one, but we're going to see. So Addison Ray, I had no idea who she was, guys. I had to ask some of my YouTube girls. They know uh, we were talking about this and a lot of us said we didn't know who she was. But from what I hear, she's like big on TikTok. So, okay, I just kind of got a TikTok. You guys, I'll link it down below if you want to check me out. But I don't want to give any spoilers, but this is the whole thing. We're going to go through it. I'm going to go through the products. Um, let's see. And I'll talk about my thoughts after and what I have seen. But let's start with the first product, guys. I'm so excited. So, guys, the first product I got is this here. And I have tried some products from Tula. They are a very good brand. This is a Tula Skincare 24-7 Moisture hydrating day and night cream it retails for $52 and I'm going to show you all the products pretty much that they chose for me so this is what they chose for me I am excited about this it says unleash your glow very nice so let's see what it says about this product it retails for $52 guys this box is $55 it almost paid for the price of the box but it says your product should multitask as well as Addison does it's the reason she loves this moisturizer. It can be used day and night to help deeply hydrate skin and smooth the look of fine lines and rough texture. So, okay, it is good to get definitely um, a Tula skincare product. So this is not a bad product. And that's what I mean. I'm being a little harsh. I have a lot of skincare. And that's why I think it's time for me to cancel, which is why I paused him for a few months. So you're not going to see Ipsy on my channel for a while, guys. I did decide to pause it. If I can get this box again, you guys know I definitely, definitely will, but I am going to pause it. I have decided to pause it. I have already paused it, so we will see. So the next product, and I was excited about this. This was one of the spoilers. I did do a quick short on spoilers, and I did definitely want this. This is it right here, guys. I am so excited for this. 
So this is what the packaging looks like. Nice silver packaging. It retails for $22. And guys, I have tried this product before and I love it. I have not went out and bought it because I feel like $22 for a brow gel is kind of a lot. But it's like hairspray for your brows. Your brows would stay in place. It's not moving. It's not budging. This thing is amazing. And I love that it's clear because I already feel like with the products I use darken up my brows enough. I don't need anything with color. I prefer clear. And guys, I have not tried many clear brow gels, but this one is awesome. It says a, a few swipes of this clear lightweight gel will tame and polish your bare brows and can also lock in the pigments from your brow pen, pencil, or pomade. P.S. is long lasting formula won't dry down or get flaky either. That is very true, guys. I do recommend this. I do like this product a lot. It was on my to buy list, but I have um, the colored brow gel, so I didn't want to go out and buy them. I'm trying not to be wasteful and use what I have in my collection, but this was one of the main products I wanted from this box. I know I got excited about a clear brow gel, but this is a great one. The next thing I got is this here, and this is from Aceology. It's the multivitamin brightening biodegradable mask. It retails for $59, but there are four masks in here, so you get four uses out of it. It says when Addison doesn't have time for a pro facial treatment, she reaches for this sheet mask. It's made with all the good stuff, including vitamins B3, C, and E to help smooth, brighten, and moisturize skin in minutes. So that is a really nice. This is illuminates, exfoliates, strengthens. So that is exciting. You guys know I love that blue packaging. So that's what the actual packaging of the mask looks like. Very, very nice. And we do have all four in here. So yes, excited about this. I will say I have tons of sheet masks. I need to get better at using them. But I'm working on it, guys. Okay, I'm a work in progress when it comes to that. But I am working on it. And like I said, $59. This paid for the price of the box, too. Okay? So it is it's really amazing. It's really, really amazing, guys. The next product I got, and I am excited about this one, too. This was another one. I When I saw some of the spoilers, I wanted this, too. The mask, not so much, because like I said, I have tons. The Tula, I have a lot of moisturizers. I have oily skin, so that doesn't get me that excited. But they're not bad products. They're good products. They're good names. Let me say that. They're good names because I haven't tried the product yet. But this one here, I am so intrigued. I cannot wait to try this. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. It retails for $42. Again, almost the price of the box, guys. So here it is here. It says, even sensitive skin will love this non-irritating brightening serum. The gentle formula uses niacinamide. It's known for its ability to help reduce inflammation and regulate pigment production to boost your glow. I am so excited for this. It's a dark spot serum. I do have one from Good Molecules that I really do like. So I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not going to the, the Good Molecules are a lot cheaper, I'm sure, than this. Of course, this is $42. The Good Molecules, I think, is like $15, $18, somewhere in that range. So I'll probably end up going with that, but I'm so excited to try this out. Now, if it works amazingly, hey, maybe I'll think about it. I don't have too many dark spots anymore, though. My skin has gotten much, much better. But I am super excited for this. Let's just see what it looks like. It is a nice dropper. I love that, like, greeny, teal-looking color. Let's get that to focus. So that is what it looks like. And let's see, because I'm definitely going to be using this. Okay, so it's just like that creamy texture, just like my, um, it looks pretty similar to the actual Good Molecules one too, but very, very excited about this. $42, yes, they picked great for me because I definitely did want that, and they picked one more thing for me, and guys, look at this. I was so excited when I saw they were going to have that in the box. Look at that packaging, guys. You got to love that. That is Mama Pat. If you guys don't know, I love Pat McGrath. That is one of my favorite brands, my favorite high-end brands. I love her eyeshadow formula. I wear it all the time. I have a few of her palettes. Even though they're super pricey and bougie, definitely worth it. So I was super excited because I haven't tried any of her glosses yet. I have a few of the like lip balms and I have the eyeshadows, but I did not have one of the lip products. So look at that. So it's $28 is the price of this. And look at this packaging and look at that. It just opens right there. You know high quality when you see it. Okay, guys, you just know it. Look at the box. Just look at that. So nice. 
Oh yes, look at that, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's the Lust Gloss, and it says this isn't your average lip gloss. The lightweight, not at all sticky gel formula is infused with shimmery pigments for wet looking lips in a swipe. So that is awesome. I really want to try this. I'm not going to because I still haven't taken my thumbnail yet because I'm like, I want to see what I think about this. But there it is right there. I definitely know I'm going to like this. So that is it right there. I am super excited for this. Yes, this I am super excited for guys. Yes. And it's $28. Again, great price. Okay. So now the next few products I chose, and this was why I wasn't that, that excited guys. Okay. I kind of tried to choose what was best, what was there, but it did not wow me, wow me all the way. So let me start pulling out these products. Okay guys, so the next thing I got was this here. And this is from 111 Skin. If you guys don't know, this is a super bougie brand, okay? Very, very expensive. I have tried a few of their products and I do really like them. I normally only get them in boxes though. I really like their sheet mask. Um, they have a radiant serum, which is pretty much, I believe the same as a sheet mask, but it's just a serum and I use it every single night. I definitely love it. So they do have some really nice products. They have a vitamin C serum but they're really pricey. This cleanser right here, guys, retails for $70. Yes, $70. This more than paid for the box. So this is it here. Of course, it's full size. It says this two-in-one formula doubles as a daily face wash and toner to help leave your skin clean, smooth, bright, and balanced in one quick step. So it's supposed to be a toner too. Now, I like to use my own toner separately, but I mean, I probably would just use this as a cleanser. I'll still tone my skin as I always do. I do like that it is sealed, so that is great. Um, I don't know. I actually am thinking about maybe possibly posting this to sell. Um, it's a cryo pre-activated toning cleanser. It is 4.06 fluid ounces, so that's great, but I have quite a few cleansers to use. So I don't know. I might post this on my Poshmark and Mercari. It's always linked below if you want to check it out. So I don't know. Um, I did choose that one because that seemed like the best option, but I wasn't that wowed by that. I'm going to tell you what I feel like this is missing, but let's go through. We got two more products and then I did get some add-ons. You know, your girl had to get a few add-ons. So this is another thing I chose. So I feel like this was the better of the options for me. This is the K18 hair and I've never heard of them. It's a leave-in molecular repair hair mask. It retails for $7. $75 guys. This is 1.7 fluid ounce. How is this $75? This better do magic to my hair. It really better because that is crazy. That is a lot of money for this small little leave-in and I am heavy-handed. Okay guys, I am a natural. I am heavy-handed. So I feel like I would use this really quick. So this better do miracles. Okay. I like that it has a pump, but let's see what it says. If you guys have tried this, let me know because I am too curious about this little old packaging for that price. But it says uh, most hair masks take time to work their magic. But what if you're in a rush? Addison swears by this fast acting mask. Comb it through shampooed and towel dried. Skip conditioner hair. Wait four minutes before styling and that's it. No rinsing required. Her tip is to apply this at your ends, then work the remaining product upward towards the roots. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I got it because I'm thinking $75 for a leave-in conditioner. It better be amazing even though I've never heard of this brand. So if you guys have tried it, please, please, please let me know because I am super duper curious. I do want to know about this because, again, never heard of it. So I am curious. The last thing I got, and this was in my pamphlet. By the way, the, the cleanser was not for some reason. I was looking everywhere. I'm, I hope I'm not missing it, but I did look a few times. I could not find this in the pamphlet, but I did find this here. And this last product, again, I chose. So I chose this cleanser. I chose this leave-in conditioner. And I chose my last product was this from Lily Lashes. It's an eye enhancing serum. Yeah, so it's for your lashes, guys. I don't wear falsies often. I do have them. I do wear them every now and again, but just not very often. And they had this as an option. It's the Lily Lashes Level Up Lash Enhancing Serum. It retails for $65. It says no more falsies, no more extensions. This serum uses antioxidant rich red ginseng 
extract to help encourage your natural lashes to grow faster and even helps prevent them from breaking too. So that is interesting. The packaging looks pretty nice. I'm not going to open it yet. So I'm showing you guys what it looks like. It's this one right here. So I, I mean, I do like the packaging with the gold and stuff. It looks really nice with the gold and white packaging. And it looks like the container is the same thing. I don't know though. This retails for $65. It's more than paid for the box. Guys, that is absolutely amazing. When I say like these products, they are pricey, okay? So the value of my box has, I already totaled it up because I know sometimes you can't find the products or I, I struggle like with the 111 skin. So I did total it up. So the pro the total value of my box, guys, was $413, okay? For $55 plus tax, I, th I think it was like $58.85 is the exact amount I paid with tax, I live in Florida, so we do pay tax, but $413 value is amazing. Even if I don't like all the products, I still feel like it's amazing. I do have one problem though. I find that some of the products that I wanted were not available for my choice, and I was a little sad by that. They did have um, an eye cream that I really wanted to try. It was not there, so that kind of made me really, really sad. There was also some other products, and I know like my girl Vanessa Beauty, I hate to be a spoiler, but she had to add on the products that she wanted because it wasn't in her choices. So that was a little disappointing, and then like I said, I noticed for me too because I did want this one eye cream, and that wasn't in my choices. Where is that? Um, and I was a little bit disappointed by that. I really, really was. Yes, it's a super bougie, expensive eye cream, $143. I'm like, that thing better do miracles is this right here. This MZ Skin um, Soothe and Smooth Hyaluronic um, Brightening Eye Complex. It wasn't in my box. They did have it for add-ons for $18, but I have tons of eye creams. So I really couldn't justify buying it at this moment. But I was a little sad if that wasn't one of my options because I really wanted that product. That was one on my list I wanted. So I was a little sad. But either way, it's okay. This was a really good box. Definitely worth the value. Super happy about that. I'm just going to tell you about my add-ons really, really quickly. Um, nothing special. I did see this, and I've been wanting to try one of these little combs. It's the Refreshments Tangles Be Tame Comb. Um, I guess the colors bubble up. It's one size. And it's supposed to help detangle your hair. Like I said, the color is super cute, and it has like a little hook so you can kind of hang it in the bathroom. So I just said, you know, I'll try this. It was only $3, so I said, why not? I also decided to get this mascara here. I have tried it and I do like it. It is from Benefit. It is the Roller Lash. It says Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. And I have been liking the little small mascaras because I have so many mascaras, it's hard to go through. And the packaging on this one is so cute. This was only $3 too. So I definitely think the $3 mascaras, especially when you get one from Benefit and stuff, are definitely worth it. And then I was super excited when I saw this, even though it's super tiny. But it's the MAC Fix Plus. Guys, I am late to the party. I know everyone has tried Mac Fix Plus. Your girl has not, but I finally will be, okay? It was $3 in add-ons as well, so I couldn't pass it up. If I could have gotten more, I probably would have, but as tiny as this is, I'm kind of glad that they don't give you that option. Look at how small it is, but it is so cute, So I am excited about those. They were $3 each plus tax. I paid $11.25 for the add-ons. So not bad at all. Definitely, definitely worth it. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite product was. I am super duper excited, definitely, about a lot of these products to try them out. Did I need them? No. Now that I have them, am I excited? Yes. So I will never say that Ipsy X is not worth the value. I just hate that you have to get the other boxes. I'm on product overload. I don't need a box every month, but that's how they get you. So I am going to try to see if I can get the next Xbox, but I did pause my subscription. When you do pause, it does cancel your X subscription. So we will see. We will see if I bring another Ipsy back in the next few months. But guys, I feel like this is a great box. We're going to talk about my makeup really quick because I don't want this video to be a super duper long. You guys know I love this Kat Von D studded lipstick in LUV. It's my favorite go-to when I want to wear a purple. And I just feel like wearing a purple today because I feel like it goes good with my eyes. And guys, I am so excited because if you don't see back here what I did. First off, I decided, and I've been a little lazy, and when I feel lazy and I don't want to do all that work, I don't use my MAC Paint Pot. I find that these Mali Evercolor Shadow Stick Extras, they are great um, eyeshadow primers, and this one is in the color Autumn Shimmer. So it's a lighter color. So I put this on, if you guys can see, so I put this all over the lid, and I use this as my primer, and it has lasted. It has been about 
nine hours since I did my makeup and I use this beauty yes I just got this I believe it was in my boxy premium yes for February I'll link it down below if you want to check it out oh my god I cannot wait to put my hands in this and look at the eye look I created I love it so you guys gotta tell me what you think but look at this packaging a beautiful yes it is and I'm gonna use a little package to cover it because it has a nice big mirror and in my inner corner, I did go in with this color here. Um, this is Cosmic. Then I went in with Libra in the middle right there. And then I just darkened it up with Hot Mess on the outer corner. I used also Libra and Hot Mess as transition shades. So that's only three shades on the top of the lid. On the bottom, I did use my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Catsuit. This is like my favorite. I don't know why I love greens. I feel like it makes my eyes pop. So I put this down and I did bring it down a little bit. And then I actually put Mercury, this shimmery color here, that green color. I put that one close to the lash line. And then I actually... um blended it out with haze this light green color here so i do love how it came out so i use one two three four five five shades in this look and i love this palette i used um some other colors doing a different look and i love how it came out so you have to tell me what you think of course i also use my tardiest dual ended liner i used the liquid sign for the liner and i did one really close to the lash line i didn't want to have a thick line i wanted the eyeshadow to pop and then i used the other side the pencil side to tight line so i really love this i might have to go out and get this and then of course i was a little extra with my mascaras guys that don't wear falsies like i said i use this essence lash princess false lash effect mascara i used it on the bottom then I went in with this mascara that I got from my girl, Julia Beast Beauty. I'll link her down below so you can check her out. It is this Catrice Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Power Hole Volume Mascara. I used this one here, and I used it on the top, and I actually did put it on the bottom. It did not flake at all. Um, and on the top, I find if I use it alone, it does transfer up here. But I did not use it alone today. I used it with this Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, and I used it on the top, and I love it. So this is my look. I didn't do any touch-ups on my eyes or anything. The only thing I did was reapply my lips for this video. I did decide to put on a little bit more. So I have on like a little bit of powder foundation um, with a big fluffy brush just to give me a little color. So you guys let me know what you think of this look today. I am loving it. I hope you love it. Let me know what you think about the box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, you guys!